Hey, John Cristani here, and are you trying to start a YouTube channel and you have a big fat zero viewers and zero subscribers? Well, I'm going to be going over three important tips starting and growing your YouTube channel. We're going to be going over a few things. We're going to be going over how to study the competition to help yourself grow and succeed within your niche. I'm also going to be going over how to produce consistent content. I've been producing content daily for three years, haven't burned out, and I'll show you kind of the trick to doing that and some of the tricks I use to do that. And we'll also be going over number three, which is viewer feedback. How to use the feedback that you get from your initial videos to help your channel grow and get better over time so you ultimately win at the game. So let's get it. So let's get into how to grow a YouTube channel with zero views and zero subscribers. Now, the first big thing that you need to understand is you have to study the competition. Very important. You should know who's doing well in your niche and why they're doing well. And a good way to do this is actually just make a list of, you know, the top 10 YouTubers in your particular niche, whether you're teaching people how to mow their lawns, whether you're teaching people how to, you know, train dogs, maybe you're just trying to be funny. Maybe you're doing frat boy humor. Maybe you're doing, you know, improv. Maybe you're doing, you're showing people how to install lights in their house. Whatever it is, make a list of the top 10 people in your niche and follow them all. And also read the comments and look at what other people are saying about those people's videos. What are they doing right? What are they doing wrong? Understand everything about their videos and try to understand why they're doing so well. Is it their editing style? Maybe it's their personality. Maybe they inject humor. Maybe they don't inject humor. Whatever it is, start to map out why your competition has been successful and why some of your competition, you know, what their viewers don't like. Really understand that and that'll help you create your own unique identity and a winning channel. Now, the second major way of growing a YouTube channel with zero subscribers and zero viewers is putting out consistent content. So all things remaining equal and the internet is a competitive space. All things equal, the person who puts out the most content wins. I've been putting out five videos a week for almost three years now, over two and a half years, and that's allowed me to break through the fold and gain an audience of a couple hundred thousand people. You know, the YouTube channel itself makes me about somewhere around twelve to fifteen thousand dollars a month. That's not big income for me, but that adds to my business, and it's just easy, easy money. Now, what's important is you create a schedule for yourself and you map out what videos you're doing and when. What I do is I release Monday through Friday every day at eight thirty. Know when you're going to release videos every single week. Doesn't change Monday through Friday. 8.30 a.m. And for you, I would suggest at least three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday might be a good schedule. And you do that consistently for six months if you actually want to give YouTube a shot. Now in my business, I have all of my videos outlined for me in advance. And the topics are chosen based on highly searched keywords that people care about in my particular industry. So for instance, many people are wondering how to start a YouTube channel with zero views and zero subscribers. So that's a topic I choose to speak on. I don't speak on topics just because I want to speak on them. I choose topics based on what other people want me to talk about. And furthermore, I shoot my videos well a week in advance. So no matter what, I'm never coming up against the clock where I have to release a video. My videos are scheduled out in advance, so I'm never reacting to life. Life is reacting to me, and that allows me to keep a consistent upload schedule and help the YouTube algorithm. And by the way, if you're watching this, just help out the YouTube algorithm for me and hit that like button, hit that subscribe, content coming every single day, and also leave a comment if uh, you have any questions up until this point. Okay, so you're releasing videos consistently, you're releasing videos based on what people want, not what you care about, and you're starting to get viewers. Now, at this step, this is the third step, is you need to use viewer feedback to keep going. The easiest way is this, just ask your audience what they'd like to see 
you to do videos on. Tell them to post that stuff in the comments. What your viewers want to see and what your subscribers want to see from you is what you should be making videos on. Also, if you get a video with a lot of views on it, make more videos about that topic. Now, this was something that I didn't realize at first. I released a video on quick way to make money online. And, you know, I showed people a quick way to make money online. And what happened was it got a bunch of views, but I didn't have too many other quick ways to make money online, so I didn't release a lot of videos. Well, what I started doing was when I started releasing videos, just talking about that same topic from different viewpoints, just explaining things a little bit differently, those videos exploded. And I kept talking about that same topic over and over and over and over and over and over again. And my channel got more and more and more views and more and more subscribers. And in my standpoint, I was just repeating the same information over and over again, saying the same thing in different ways each time. And I was kind of like, this doesn't make any sense. How am I getting more viewers and more subscribers? And I'm basically repeating myself every day, but it works. Just trust the process, I guess. And likewise, if you do a video that doesn't get any views, you probably shouldn't do more videos on that topic. Now, when I was starting out, I did a number of videos on being a digital nomad and how to travel and how to live cheaply overseas without any money. You know, it's very easy to live very cheaply when you're not in the U.S., but many people in Western countries and Americas and Europe don't think you can live for $200 a month. I did that for a long time when I wasn't making money and I was running an internet business and I was able to do this. But people don't want to hear about that. People want to hear about how to make money or my audience at least wants to hear about that. They didn't want to hear about how to save money and live cheaply by backpack. Now you can do other things such as asking, doing surveys on your YouTube channel. You can do it in your community posts on YouTube and get feedback from people of what they want to hear about or what they want to watch or learn about. And you can also just read comments and see what questions people ask in the comments of your video to give you guidance on what other topics people want to learn about. These are really easy ways to become big on YouTube is literally just listen to your audience. Remember, you've been given two years and one mouth for a reason. You should listen twice as much as you actually speak. But the best thing you can do by far is actually look at your analytics in YouTube itself and they give you a chart and they show where people are super engaged in your videos and where people are not engaged and start to leave your videos. And looking at those analytics within YouTube and figuring out where people are dropping off in your videos and creating reasons why and fixing those is going to be the best form of viewer feedback that you can get. And just do less of the stuff that makes people click off of your videos and more of the stuff that keeps people super engaged in your videos. And you just continually analyze the chart to see where people drop off and you do less of that and where people stick on and do more of that and you'll become a YouTube pro and be building your channel very fast in no time. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy my channel. I come out with four videos every single week and I do one question and answer session on Mondays where I'll answer all your questions. I come on live, I also give away money from time to time. I gave away like $600 last week. So if you wanna be on, make sure you click a subscribe and give me a big like. And if you have any questions about growing YouTube channel, I'm just getting started. I'm almost at 400,000 subscribers right now. Enter in a comment or question below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, the more specific you make your question, the more specific I can give my feedback. Generally check the questions for 24 hour time period after I release a video. And then anything else, just come on my live session and I'll do question to answer and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. So looking forward to seeing you as a subscriber to my channel and learning how you can work from home in these crazy times, make some extra cash like lots of my other students have. Have a good day. All the best. See you soon.